M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Good news, the FTM500 has released the new ADMS16 software. I've just made a video on that. Working great, thank you very much, Yesu. They've also, at the same time, released new firmware for the DSP, the main and the sub, which is here. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Remember, before you do any of this, to back up your radio, because at the end of the firmware process, you need to fully reset the radio. The instructions are all here. The improvements are listed quite long. So ADMS 16, uh, main and sub volume, added a JPG import function. I'm only reading the beginnings. Impro improvement, providing the ability to read and write several backup files, improved permitting operating of wires X without distinguishing between bands. Improved providing the ability to call wires X. Improved permitting the current channel information register to PMG to be transferred and so on and so on. So read that, I'll put the link in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is download the file. So pop along to Yesu here, the link's in the description. Scroll right, to, well click files first. Scroll down and at the very bottom you want to click programming where is it? Update firmware for EU, in my case, for you, for the America, for America, it'll be USA, but I'm gonna click EXB, click that, and then you'll get this download, and we end up with this file that we just had on the screen, just now, just now downloads. Look at all my downloads. <laughs> uh, so let's just click here, it's easier. Downloads, FTM 500, firmware, double click. There's your info there, main firmware, sub firmware. You can look up the firmware that you already have. Just hold down the function, turn to 126. So you can turn the bottom knob, it's quicker. And then the top one to find select. And that's what we've got, 1.06, 1.02 and 7.2. If we look at the firmware update, it looks to me like the DSP does stay the same, but the main and the sub is gonna become 1.10. These are the files, C4FM, I'm still gonna download the 7.20 DSP, see what it does, and then you've got the main and the sub. We need to get these into our SD card. So let's remove the SD card from the radio and just pop that into my adapter. As soon as I do that, my SD card opens up. And I find the quickest way, just drag them into the file at one at a time. There's three to drag. Once they're there, you need to drag them into this top file. So one at a time, just drag them up into the very top one, let go. I'm gonna replace it. There must be, the old one must be in there. All three are in there. We can actually check it if we want. We can double click it and they're all there. I think I'm going to delete the ones that were there before. So you can see the 1.02. So right click, delete. What else we got? FT, just make sure they all say 1.10. Delete. So we've got the 7.2, the 1.10, 1.10. So they're all there, they've been put into the correct file. So go back, they're in the FTM 500 file. Now the idea behind this is once we pop them into the radio, the radio will detect them. So we're just gonna pop that in. And then follow instructions. So we just go back there to the main window, pop it in. The SD card's in there, it shows that it's in. We're going to turn off the radio, like so. Hold down DISP on the right hand side to the left of the on off button and then turn the radio on. And then it's, it's showing this, I know it's quite bright. Press the big VFO, update. It has found the two new files and it also shows that it's not going to be using the, the third one. And I'll just turn to the left and click update, and then okay. And remember, I've already made a backup. It looks like this is gonna take a while. So let's let it do that, and then we'll come back. 
Okay, and I've got the manual there, just checking that I know how to do the factory reset properly. That's always handy, which is, press OK now that it's completed, the big VFO. It reboots. Turn it back on. Now hold down the function. Go to the bottom. Number 127 is factory reset. Press the top right hand knob. It's going to factory reset. Remember, we've loaded all our settings onto my SD card. We hope. I've got a copy on my computer because I've been using the new ADMS 16. Right, completed. Then we we'll go back. Reboots again. Oh yeah, of course, when you factory reset. Now hopefully if I load from my SD card, it, it will uh, remember my call sign. But let's just press and put in our call sign. So we just go M. It's where we missed a full keypad. I suppose I could probably use the, the microphone, couldn't I? M0, back to letters. Going too fast. F. X. B. That'll do for now. Hold down. And what we'll do, we'll hold it down again, the function. Using the bottom knob, turn to the bottom where it said SD card. 107, read from card, and hopefully, there's my saved file. It's going to load everything back on. Then we'll have a quick look to see what the firmware numbers are, and we're done. I think it's a fantastic radio, but I also think that the 400 and 300 is a fantastic radio. I even think the 100 is a fantastic radio, so... Um, you know, they're, you know, this is the latest, supposedly the latest, greatest. Many have kept their 400 because they like the biggest, the bigger screen. Some people like this form factor. It, you know, everyone's got their personal choice. So it has loaded up my, all my details. I can see that. So the last thing before we end the video is hold down, go to the bottom, which is one, two, software version select and there it all is updated thanks for watching my youtube channel and i will put a link in the description for the video i made loading the adms using the sd card and i'm about to make another video on the adms 16 using my scu 40 20 or i think the new cable is the 56 cable uh, bye for now 73 please remember to like and subscribe all the best